I noticed that you came out with the, uh, which, as pitchers often do, with, with the sleeves cut off at the elbow. Did you consider wearing something longer today? I mean, um, at the same time, it's cold, but when you're out there pitching and you're warm, it doesn't really affect you. I guess it was when I was in the dugout and I was trying to stay warm. You know, it was kind of chilly. Once I'm out there, I didn't, I didn't notice it at all because you got, you know, they got the blood pumping and you're sweating. So, I mean, I felt good once I was out there. I felt like the, the weather was a non-factor. Was this maybe the coldest you pitched on? Uh, you know, I think it might be. I pitched in some cold games last year, definitely the coldest this year. But uh, you know, I, I think this might take the cake. You had an opportunity to go out there in the ninth inning. What does the complete game mean to you? Well, uh, it was the first time ever I've ever finished a game. So I was kind of confused because when I finished the game, I, I didn't know what to do exactly. Jason came <laughs> up to me and told me, you know, you're supposed to shake the catcher's hand. And I was like, oh, I've never been a closer. I've never finished a game. So I'm just going to stand out here and see what happens. But, you know, it was a good feeling. Um, it was a big milestone for me. And more importantly, I feel like that I was able to finish the game. Uh, nine innings doesn't feel like it doesn't take a toll on my arm. I felt good, and I feel like I could go out there and pitch another one if needed. So I feel like that's the biggest thing. Just to be clear, you're talking about first time in college, because I'm sure in no. high school. Mm -mm. No, first really? time, first Ever? time in my, I mean, maybe if I, when I was like 12 or 13, Pee Wee or whatever. But um, you know, I came from a high school where we had a lot of a lot, a lot of good pitchers. I wasn't even the number one in my high school team. So. Um, you know, I, I didn't really have that many opportunities to go out there and finish games. And I had the opportunity this time, and I was really glad I was able to seize it. You kind of pitched into and then got out of trouble several times. But I thought that fourth mm -hmm. inning in particular was a very important inning for you because you had runners, I believe, in second and third with, with one, one out. out. And mm -hmm. talk about that inning and what you, how you tried to approach that and how significant that was. If you were to tell me I was going to – finish the game early in the game, I would tell you you're crazy because um, they were getting a re some really good approach. Um, re they had a really good approach off me, and they were getting some good swings. But uh, I think, like you said, the fourth inning was the turning point. Um, we had a bad error that inning, but, you know, uh, like Coach always tells us, uh, not every time um, your infield is going to make every play. And when they make an error, you got to pick them up. So um, when I was able to get out of that run and minimize and only get one run, uh, you know, I got the adrenaline going, and I was like, you know, it's a one-run game, let's go. And then my offense came up big, and once we got the lead, I just knew I wasn't going to give it up. Do you think that bottom of the seventh kind of helped confidence to finish the game? Um, oh, the, the we scored all the everything? runs? Yeah. Oh, definitely. Um, you know, I, I felt confident when we were up by one run. I feel like if, if it was a one-run game and you would have put me out there, um, I would have pitched with the same confidence, but... You know, it's always easier to pitch with a bigger cushion because then you don't need to be so perfect. Uh, you're not, a, you're not, you know, you're not too scared to leave one ball up and tie the game. But uh, you know, I, I feel like my confidence was high the whole game, even when they had in the beginning, when I was, um, you know, when they were when they were getting uh, you know a run here and a run there, and I was leaving a couple pitches up. You know, I felt good. Um, I feel like, you know, my stuff, my stuff was fine. The only, the only thing um, that really wasn't working for me today was my two strike uh, pitches. You know, it took me nine whole innings to get a strikeout, and I'm not really, you know, a big strikeout guy, but, you know, I, I feel like I would get at least more than one in nine, but, you know, I feel like I made a good adjustment, and I finally ended up getting one in the ninth. But, um, you know, I, I feel like I'm a pitcher that prides myself in not walking any guys. And I think, uh, you know, I didn't walk anybody else today, and I haven't so far this season. And it's not like I'm trying to go out there and not walk anybody. If it happens, it happens, but... You know, I like I, I throw strikes, and you know I felt good today, and it didn't change. I threw a lot of strikes today. Do you and Drew ever have conversations about that? Because a walk isn't necessarily bad in certain situations. Have it's you not. Talked about with that with him. You know, we had we had some situations where there was a uh, you know less than one outs, first base open, especially early in the game, and uh, you know it's not where I want to go out there and try to walk him. What happens is you want to go out there, and no matter what the count is, you want to have. A pitcher's pitch. You know, if you're down 3 1, 2 1, 2 0, you don't want to give him something easy to hit. You can still throw your off speed, you know, still get a chance to either have him uh, swing at a, a pitcher's pitch and get an out, or if you walk him, hey, you, you got the double play in order. But, um, you know, it just happened to where when I fell behind in those counts, 3 1, 2 1, base open, um, you called usually an off speed pitch or a fastball way outside or way inside or either way, and I just executed. And it just happens that. Um, that I didn't walk anybody today. Um, I've been fortunate to not have, you know, situations that, like that very often. But um, 
you know, I just I felt good. And when situations like that came up, I executed my pitches, and it worked out well. If I can just return to the, just to be clear on this, do you have any sort of background in the Midwest? Have you lived in Florida all your life? Or? I lived in Florida all my life. Okay, okay. I want to say the only the only baseball I've ever seen played in the Midwest was when I would go when I went to Chicago over the summer to watch my brother play in the All Star game, and it was like 90 degrees there. So I mean, other than you know traveling in the summer, maybe like Georgia. Or, I played in Cooperstown, but that's always during the summer. So um, this is actually the coldest game to date I've ever pitched, and <laughs> it's it just, my first it complete game. Like so. If anybody has reason to be shocked by playing baseball in this weather, it's probably you. <laughs> I mean, it's, uh, yeah, but at the same time, you know, it's it's not going to be cold every time you pitch. I mean, it's not going to be warm every time you pitch. It's going to be cold sometimes. So, um, you, you know, I, I was bound I was bound to, I was bound to have a game like this eventually where it was, you know, mid-30s, wind blowing in or wind blowing out. Just the wind blowing in, in general. And everybody bundled up trying to stay warm. But, um, you know, like I said, once you get going, it's a non-factor.